Hello everyone, Spike Games here. We're gonna go back to standard here. So let's get some more games in with our white weenie deck. As per usual, very much appreciate you watching the videos. And if you could watch the video all the way to the end, even if you're not actively watching it, just keeping it on and having it finish is very helpful for my channel. Definitely helps with the YouTube algorithm. So appreciate that if you can do that. Um, this end is a lot of one drops, but only one land, uh, and we go. We are on the play, so I think we can probably do better. I'm just a little wary after that other game where we got one land and never drew another one. So <laughs> we'll keep this one, and we'll keep that guy. So we get to go Law Rune into Law Rune Law Rune into Marshall, which is not. I've, I've seen worse. Scorpions, please. <laughs> Told you to be gone. Okay. Doing that to spectacle something? Yeah, probably low on lands is the problem. Which is great, because they didn't hit one. Glad they're skewing our face and not our creatures, to be quite honest. Uh, here we play this, and we play the marshal. And in for six. Probably they will, okay. I was gonna say Lightning Bolt our Marshal, but they decided to surrender, which I like a lot better. Claim that. Play more matches. Arena is so visually pleasing. I just really like the whole interface. It's very nice. Uh, you tempt me with these one land hands, but I will not keep them anymore. Even on the draw, I don't think this is very good. This is better. Mm, yeah. I think it's okay. Opponent plays forest first. Could be mono green, could be Simic Yoink, could be lots of things. We'll just have to see. Gonna need third land. You get tired of hearing me say that yet with this deck? <laughs> I mean, I guess that's technically true. Look at the philosopher over here. Hey, a third land. That's exactly what we needed. Uh, we're gonna kill Vivian, and we're gonna hit our opponent for one. Not bad. Just want to remove the card advantage engine and the flash and all the things Vivian does. So here we get to do this, which is pretty rough for our opponent. They are dead next turn, <laughs> if they don't do anything here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, the question is, is it good enough? And I think the answer is four, seven, eight, nine. It is in fact not. Because we will exile the druid. and swing in with the team and the opponent will take too much and die that was a pretty nifty turn five kill and it'll put us into gold two let's absolutely go and 
the series of sunrise. All right. The thing I do like about these aggro decks is you get to play a lot more matches with them, which is nice just because the games go a lot quicker. So as long as you're maintaining a good win percentage, you can move up pretty quick with these decks. We haven't run into Esper Control in a while. We've been facing a lot fewer of those decks, which is fine with me. Makes my life a lot easier. I can just spew my stuff out on the board. Don't have to worry about those board wipes. Yeah, here's a hand where we especially don't want them to be on board wipes, but they're not. It's mono red, so this is fine. Uh, we're going to wait a sec here because we get third land next turn into Marshall, into Loxanon, which is going to be really nice. We will not block if opponent attacks. Which is good for us. Ooh, or we could history of Benalia here. And then this guy comes down and really lights things up. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, and we'll chill. Now this guy next turn gets to come down and make everything huge. This will be good. Is also a knight, so it gets pumped by this too, notably. I'm very happy for opponent to lightning my face. I think we will win this race once it starts. Make second knight. Okay, change of plans. We're gonna do both things this turn. Hmm, I lied. We're gonna play this guy first. Then, we're gonna play this guy. Yeah, this is good. Team is just huge. And next turn, we just get to absolutely wreck our opponent. So I'll take this. Because these guys are going to become six fives, and this guy will be a six six. No, also a 6-5. Yeah. Opponent can't handle it. They don't have enough lands. Moving up. Ba -na -na. More games. More games. This hand is good. One drop, two drop with removal spell, locks it on. I think that means opponent is Rakdos. This guy is really good when sacrificed, so. Looking to, yeah, Rakdos with the Butcher. Good thing we can block it, that's nice. It will kill our guy, but that's okay. That was a good trade, because this guy's just really dangerous. We traded our one drop for his two drop, which I'm like okay with.
So we're going to attack, and then we're going to play this thing. And then we're going to play another one of these. Kills the flyer, sure. Doesn't attack, great for us, okay. Here we play this, then we attack with this guy. We're going to pay the life here. I don't want our vampire to die. We get a free kill there. That's good. That, on the other hand, is very scary. I don't like that guy at all. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I think that guy's got to go. Like, right now. <laughs> the value engine of the deck and we don't want our opponent to have that so I think we just had to do that and now we'll just pass I think We're gonna kill our marshal this time mm -hmm. What do we got? Land. Okay, that's nice. So now we can Law Rune, Snubhorn, Loxodon. Counter up everybody. Alright. Opponents guys are all very small. That guy is not though. That guy is annoying. However, we will just lock it down forever. <laughs> Opponent really has to sacrifice a lot of things if they want to block this board profitably. So, and they're out of cards. And this will be tapped forever because we get to tap it on our turn and on their turn. triple blocking it, and then they're going to sack this to do the fourth damage. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's fine. We're going to pay the four. And then we're going to kill this whole board except for one thing. Seems fine. We'll pass. Opponent gets one card. We tap his Phoenix again this turn, for sure. There's the scoop. Doing the winning. All right. Clear the stage. All right. Doing pretty well today. Maybe we'll get to gold one. This is a fine hand. Uh, we don't have a two drop. We could draw one though, or one drop for turn two, and then turn three we get our knight. Lord, and then we go to town. Hmm, gotta kill the statue. I've been lax on my statue killing. 
Gotta get him. Yeah, got him. Can we kill the base? Yeah, we can. Goodbye. All right, there's the two drop. Ideal, love it. No attacks. Next turn we get to Marshall, which is great. Alternatively, next turn we can Conclave Tribunal to get rid of the Steamkin, which I think is actually what I'm going to do. Because I just really don't want our opponent to have the access to a big guy that generates mana. It's not good, so. Uh, no, we want no attackers because we bounce off each other for the moment. Our opponent immediately has a second one. Okay. Not my favorite. But what are we going to do? So. Three. Don't have enough to do two things here. But we do have enough to do three and hold up tap down. Mm -hmm. Opponent shouldn't block that. That's the correct move. We'll end turn. We get to tap down his steamkin before combat. No matter what, right? Like if he tries to kill our. Tap that down now. It'll get bigger, sure. It'll kill our marshal. That's not so good. Hit us for one. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. So we do get to do both. So we'll play this. And then we'll play this, tapping this, and this, and this. And make a big guy. So we were out of cards, and opponent has many cards, <laughs> which is very scary. But four power creatures are hard for the red deck to deal with, so might two for one himself trying to kill this Loxodon. We'll see. We are doing fairly okay. We've reached a relatively late turn. We've gotten our hand down and we're still at 19. So it hasn't really put on a ton of pressure. Opponent is in the tank. Wonder what they're in the tank about. We do have two four toughness creatures, which is very hard for red to deal with. Yeah, definitely not blocking that, because they're trying to get this to block so they can 3 damage kill it. But I'd much rather just take one at this time. Okay, kill our law enforcer, that's fine. Opponent is spending a lot of resources getting rid of our stuff and not a lot pressuring our life total, which is sometimes the right call, but we shall see in this case. Okay. Yep, makes the steam kin mana. And now it gets to go off using it, which is a little scary. That's why I exiled the first Steamkin, just so we're aware. We would have had even more mana if we had two of them. What you got, opponent? Yeah, no, we're 
we're making this guy indestructible. I think we have to give him the cards there. It's just, we're taking so much damage already. I think we need to race at this point. All right, opponent, do you have us dead here? Let's see. If you don't, I think we're okay. Um, do we want to let it die this time? I think this time the answer is yes. Because 4 puts us at 10. 6 damage coming in plus whatever is in hand. I think that would be dangerous. Opponent can't notably can't attack well I guess they could attack with one creature okay they must have another creature or the ability to just kill us like three, three burn spells or something we'll see they've got one for sure question is do they have two two more in hand Even if they risk factor, we give them the cards. And we just hope they don't get there, I guess. Yep, go to five. Nice to see you at five. Fancy meeting you here. Okay. Horn is doing a lot here. It's a little scary. See, now they get to shock for one and make three more mana. And I have six mana. Hmm. That's the game, yeah. That's rough. I just got to really chain off there at the end. Do one more for this video. Yeah, so that was an example of the red deck being faster than the white deck, which it often is. You just sort of have to deal with that. This hand's good. Third land would be very good. We do get to go two power guy and a three power guy, which is a lot of damage early. Okay. On it on is it probably Phoenix, maybe Grixis, or just all the colors. Interesting. We'll play history of Benalia here. I'm just making good use of mana. And I, I, I have no idea what our opponent's doing here. Oh, they're on gates. Got it. I didn't realize these were gates. Yeah, they're on gates. Which is a pretty slow starting deck, so I think we might be able to just kill them before they can get their game plan online. That is helpful for them, though. Ram is very good. Though we can tap it down, so. Play this. 
play this, play this. All right, they need the gates ablaze here, probably. Well, we just win. They have it. It's very sad. We're doing the desperation play here. <laughs> Uh, though I think we are rewarded with the victory <laughs> with that top deck. We will hit them for more than nine. Eleven, in fact. I won't lie, that was a good top deck. Uh, we wouldn't have been able to kill them. They would have Gatebreaker rammed the next turn, probably, and then we might have still been able to win, but that definitely made it easier. All right, this has been Spike Games with some more Magic Arena standard content. Uh, if you're liking the videos so far, I am sticking to a schedule. I'm doing one video a day, 10 a.m. every day, uh, in case you hadn't caught on to that pattern. And likes, comments, subscribes, views, all very nice. And uh, the best thing you can do for me is watch these videos all the way to the end. So we will see you next time.